So we're actually going to be looking at this video here where this guy is saying tons of celebrities are endorsing Kamala, black celebrities in particular, right now. So that raises the question, is there a massive blackmail ring happening in real time? And something I will mention is, you know how the whole thing, I know people are so tired of hearing about the diddler, but you know how the whole thing happened with Diddy, same with Epstein and how they raided the house, found stuff. And then it was like, okay, you never heard about it anymore. And in regards to Epstein, y'all got this information. You're saying, okay, y'all don't fall in line. This stuff is getting leaked. So what you going to do? Okay, fine. We'll fall in line. Here, people are thinking, they're cons assuming, conspiring, if you will. They're thinking like, okay, so is she doing the same thing? You know, you got the information. It's like, okay. I got about 500 of y'all I could throw under the jail right now. But later for that, if you get me into the presidency spot, which I think is going to happen anyways. Um, so people are thinking, okay, y'all has some dirt or they had some dirt on you. And y'all are like, okay, I got to fall in line. But let's go ahead and play this video and see what this person in particular has to say about that situation. Ain't no way. Ain't no way this is real life, you guys. Did you guys see Cardi B at Kamala's rally? One second, guys. One second. Now, it's bad enough that the word salad queen is hiring all these celebs who have no political background in the first place endorsing her, but now you're seeing they can't even speak for themselves when the teleprompter goes out. And this is what she thinks of you guys, just throwing a bunch of money at celebrities, hoping your vote sticks to one of these people you actually like. I posted a comment on that video that Tariq Nasheed posted saying, 65% of kids can't read at or above grade level, she's one of those kids. And then this smart guy decided to comment back saying, but voting for someone that will dismantle the Department of Education is going to prevent that, right? Ah, uh, why did you say that? Then I said, the Department of Education is the reason they can't read in the first place. Only 3% of funding actually goes to the public schools. The rest goes to funding the department of 3,000 employees. If it was so great, kids would know how to read. A $200 billion budget, but we have old ass books in school? Make it make sense. Do your research before you step into my kitchen to get cooked again. I'm pretty sure he learned his lesson after that. Now, speaking of celebrities, here's a laundry list of all the celebrities endorsing Kamala. Now, would you look at that? All those same celebs happen to know Diddy very well. Interesting. I don't know if you guys seen JLo's monologue, but she seemed highly distraught about something. She masked it as she was worried about Trump or something, but there's an underlying thing going on here, almost like she's being blackmailed. It really makes me wonder if Ben Affleck was distancing himself from her because her name's been swirling around those Diddy tapes too. This is literally where we're at right now because I think Diddy's list is Epstein's list and it's one big blackmail ring. Now, I do find it pretty funny that once Diddy gets indicted, then the New York mayor gets indicted. Then the CEO of Abercrombie & Fitch, Mike Jeffrey, gets indicted. One or two things are happening right now. Diddy is singing like a bird right now, throwing all the dirt out on everybody he has or the FBI is going overdrive right now because they're in the sights of getting disbanded by Trump if he gets back in office. It gets even wilder, you guys. A man by the name of Courtney Burgess allegedly has 11 flash drives of Diddy tapes with eight celebrities on them being drugged against their will and two are minors. seemed to be potentially minors two to three to possibly three make sure you guys jump into my telegram so i can share things with you that i can't share here but let me know what you guys think about all this down below hello 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 i would greatly appreciate it if you can actually support my little small business called latrice limited it is on latricelimited.com so as you can see right here i actually sell candles and a wide variety of other items as well. This is my big forehead, okay? Um, but I actually want to show you just a couple of different items that I do sell. Um, this is actually going to be a part of my soap collection that I have. 
As you can see, I have a variety of different soaps on here. I actually have two pages worth of soaps and um, everything is handmade, okay? Natural, clean ingredients as well. Um, you can also see right here, these are my candles, all right? They're all handmade, everything. Vanilla, sweet roses, uh, sage and vanilla vanilla and sweet roses are actually my favorite scents that i do have i also have a few other items on here i'm actually going to go and show you all the bath bombs that i do have as you all can see there's eucalyptus and sage uh sweet pea harmony and so many more and then we're just going to finish off on the gift sets that i have there's a variety of them from like the big ones like this for 45 and then you have some of the smaller ones and you have these itty bitty ones down here that includes essential oil blends definitely shop with your girl definitely help your girl out i would greatly appreciate it this is like my little baby over here, okay? <laughs> um, I would greatly appreciate it and enjoy.